Welcome to this Windows channel and this is part 7 out of 9 part of the creators update full review and part 7 we take a look at the settings and of course um, lots of little tweaks in the settings app and creators update so basically new options of course uh, in apps and up there's also the gaming uh, option so these are new uh, apps is not new in the sense that it already existed in anniversary update it's just that it was part of the system tab so here on the left side we had apps and um, they've separated all of that into an app uh, separate tab so apps and features and all four of the settings that you see here on the left were part of the the, um, the uh, settings in the system tab before so of course tweaking of apps uh, not too many changes here except that yes they have uh, slightly changed the different options compared to um, what we had before in the anniversary update you still have the ability to know the size of your apps you have the ability to move these apps to an external spot so there's the move button if you want there's still the uninstall button that's available here um, of course depending on if it's a program or not it sends you sometimes to the uh, programs in the control panel to uninstall but uh, f if there are really you know apps for from the Windows Store they uninstall from here so a few things here that have uh, been moved around I think the apps uh, separating the apps is uh, not a bad idea basically because we you know often install and install and want to do uh, things with our different programs and apps that are installed in our Windows operating system so I think that was a good move uh, of course default apps once again here in the settings but still kind of a double type default apps you have the default apps you have the default programs these are in control panel we still feel like a double operating system when we are like that but um, you know they're trying to help and make this a little better uh, of course offline maps apps for a website also appear here uh, apps for a website being if you have some apps that can open from a web page so if, for example here you have Facebook if I click a Facebook link in Microsoft Edge it won't bring me to Facebook in Edge it will open the Facebook app in Windows 10 I personally find that extremely annoying and of course here we go I'm gonna put these off right now so that it doesn't do that again apart from that there's um, new gaming gaming is here and we've talked about it in one earlier post so this is brand new and it's you know all the settings for the gamers out there um, there's also new check marks and sliders so there are um, places where in your operating system where we had before uh, different check marks now they've replaced a lot of them by sliders on and off sliders instead of you know check marks which uh, for some reason um, you know they, they seem to think that it's kind of a better option to have sliders more than check marks of course shuffled settings around every tab here in the settings has redesigned settings uh, one that has um, it, it shows a lot is network and internet for example that has different uh, new settings for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth also uh, which is interesting of course there are new options in different sections for example personalization now gives you the teams and teams actually are from uh, the Windows Store so you can actually go and get teams in the store some are paid some are free so there's new little things like that that are kind of interesting if you uh, go into the colors uh, before you had custom colors really you know colors chosen by you uh, that were in this grid square that basically Microsoft decided these are the colors we allow but uh, now you have of course custom colors which lets you really choose in the palette of colors all the different colors and not only that it also lets you if you want um, choose the RGB red green and blue numbers that go into the color or the uh, color number uh, 
uh, if you play with you know uh, Photoshop or play with different settings or websites you know these colors and you might want to refer to them but, but with numbers instead of going into a color uh, in this uh, palette of colors so uh, you know revamp settings will be of course taking a look at all of that in uh, upcoming video and uh, this is going to be uh, interesting and so um, we'll be like taking a look more you know highlighting every little detail and showing you how to use these different settings uh, everywhere that you go and like I said you know they've moved some settings around they've changed also the icons as you see here each setting has its own little icon that was not the case in anniversary update they've really uh, tried to have uh, an icon that will represent what each setting does so that you know you might actually recognize it from its icon not always from um, just you know the name so uh, new settings and uh, of course still the control panel and uh, that is something that a lot of you are saying well when's the control panel going to disappear well it will at some point but uh, you know I think that uh, we're not there yet and we won't be there by the end of the year for sure but you know I expect that in the end of this year with the redstone 3 build we might have new uh, app categories here once again and maybe even more settings into each of these categories so uh, you know that's something that will eventually appear uh, and you know will make Windows 10 much more of a unified experience basically for everyone if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Thank you for watching.